Well, we need to talk about a serious topic now, suicide. It's actually one of the top 10 leading causes of death in the United States. And September is National Suicide Prevention Month. It was created to raise awareness and to recognize those affected by suicide and also promote mental health treatment services. So take a look now at the mortality rates by state. That dark red you see right there shows a higher number of deaths by suicides. You see there, the West seems to have those higher rates. Now, according to the CDC, in late June, 40 percent of U.S. adults reported struggling with mental health or substance abuse. Now, this is during the pandemic, of course, and tonight one First Coast woman tells us she tried to take her own life four years ago. Now she's focused on helping others. Our Don White explains how she's still struggling with depression and anxiety and at the same time encouraging others to seek help. <laughs> panic attack. Janine Hoff's then boyfriend, now husband, worked at the World Trade Center. He had to run and he was covered in all the, the soot and dust uh, of the towers. Janine saw the aftermath of the attack on the Twin Towers herself that day working in New York City. That day had a very profound effect on me and my life going forward and I didn't realize the impact of the trauma. She moved to St. John's County and dealt with anxiety, depression and panic attacks for 15 years. Eventually she tried to take her own life. Janine says most people think of black and white pictures or visible sadness when they think of someone who's suicidal, but for her, that wasn't the case at all. In fact, Janine took this picture just weeks before her suicide attempt. I was taught you have to work and work and work. You provide for your family, you provide for your kids. Uh, and so I became that stereotypical picture of success and inside I was an absolute disaster. Janine isn't alone. According to Jacksonville Fire and Rescue, suicide calls have increased compared to last year. Baptist Behavioral Health reports similar increases, including a 50% increase in acute care visits. Janine's advice to those who are struggling. You know, there's free support groups all over the country, different organizations run them where you are interacting with peers, people who are struggling just like you. Dawn White, First Coast News, on your side. And so if you're struggling, it's so important to know you are not alone and there is help available to you 24 hours a day. So we want to put up the number to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. It's 800-273-8255. Please reach out and get help.